Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today's scripture is found in Luke 10, 17-20. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding this, rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And the name of this devotional is A Reason to Rejoice. People are happy for all kinds of reasons, but some of those reasons are better than others. When Jesus sent his followers out empowered to preach and heal, they saw great results. People believed their message regarding the Messiah. Health was restored, and even demons were cast out of those they possessed. That while these were truly great victories, Jesus told his disciples that these victories were not the main reason they should rejoice. Instead, he pointed them to their salvation. Truly, we have no greater gift, and it should be our source of joy. Octavius Winslow wrote, The child of God is, from necessity, a joyful man. His sins are forgiven, his soul is justified, his person is adopted, his trials are blessings, his conflicts are victories, his death is immortality, his future is a heaven of inconceivable, unthought of, untold, and endless blessedness. With such a God, such a Savior, and such a hope, is he not, ought he not, to be a joyful man? The reality is that every earthly victory is temporary. When we resist Satan today, he comes back tomorrow. When we overcome temptation in one area, another rears its head somewhere else. Spiritual victories must be won over and over day after day. But salvation is forever. It is settled and cannot be lost. So when our rejoicing is the new birth given to us, we never run out of reasons to rejoice. So what I got from this devotional is that we always have a reason to rejoice, even when things aren't going too well, and that's our salvation. We can always give God thanks for that. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us another day of life, and I pray that you just help us remember why we have true joy and that it should be our salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to come back for Renew Live at 8.05. Bye.